Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday night dinner. I'm so excited that we get to uh, meet to get together again like this. Uh, we're going to keep discussing the Lord's Prayer. We're almost done. We've got this week and the next week and then it's all, it's all done. Well, I'm not going to have dinner right now. I'm actually outside right now. It's beautiful. And I'm going to have some grape juice. Now, I want to teach you something. Uh, about about this grape juice. Uh, but while I pour it, why don't we go ahead and we'll do our grace and then we'll do the Lord's Prayer so you guys can start eating. You ready? Our grace goes like this. Dear God, thank you for our friends, for our family, and for our food. Fill us and fill our friends too. Amen. Great. Well, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer. Um, I'm so looking forward to drinking this grape juice. Oh, I can taste it now. It's going to be so good. Uh, but let's go ahead and do our Lord's Prayer. You'll see it on the screen here. And you can go ahead and say it along with me. If you want to read it, you can. If you can, uh, we'll say it together. If you just want to listen, that's fine too. Let's go ahead and say the Lord's Prayer though. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. All right. Now, before I drink this, I want to teach you something. Maybe, maybe you've never heard about this. Did you know that there is only one side of a cup that you should drink from? Did you know that? You always want to drink from this side, right? The part that's closest to you. You never want to drink from this side. Always this side, never this side. You know why? Because if you, if you drink from this side, this is what... Oh, oh, no. Oh, well, okay, if you drink from the wrong side, that happens. Oh, man, all over me, too. Well, I'll tell you what, that actually kind of kind of helps things along a little bit. Because we're going to talk about a part of the prayer that says this. Lead us not into temptation, which we talked about last week, but deliver us from evil. You know, deliver us from evil. I wonder why God didn't stop that from happening. I mean, I made a mistake. I drank from the wrong side of the cup, but God says in the prayer, it says, deliver us from evil. Don't, don't let evil things happen. Well, I think this shirt might, might just be ruined. Why didn't God stop that from happening? Well, I don't think God stops grape juice from spilling, right? It'd be kind of nice. It would make laundry a little easier, but I don't think that's what God means by evil. I think God means anything that isn't love. Deliver us from the things that aren't love. Hmm. So then, what might be examples of evil? Maybe name-calling? Or, oh, what about making fun of somebody? Uh, let's see, what else? Deliver us from evil things that aren't loving. Hmm. Oh, what about... Uh, not being nice to somebody because they're not part of our friends group. Maybe that's what God's talking about. Well, here's what I want you to do then. For your table talk, I want you to go ahead and talk about what are some things that you could do to be more loving. Because I think that's what we're talking about in the prayer. Deliver us from the things that aren't so loving toward things that are loving. So what are some things that you could do, whether it's at school, 
at home with your friends that would be more loving. Go ahead and talk about what you could do that would be more loving. Maybe, for example, it would be saying nice things about your friends when they're not around rather than mean things. Or, or maybe it would be if someone is starting to argue with you, don't fight, but have a conversation. Maybe your brother or sister takes one of your favorite toys. How could you do something loving then? Grown-ups, go ahead and help if they need a little help thinking about that. But as you do, remember, always drink from this side. Cover this side. And remember that God loves you. So do I. So does your church. Amen. Oh,